All right, what's up, guys? This is a uh, Drift Yanni or Yanni or Ryan. I don't know, whatever you want to call me. But I am doing the second video of my high school stories with Yanni thing. I don't remember what I called it because I haven't done it in a while. But uh, I've got an interesting story that I want to do. I'm not even sure what gameplay I'm going to have behind it. I have a few that I kind of want to use. Holy, my phone. But I don't, I'm not quite sure on which one I exactly want to use. I'm not really too worried about that. It's more about the story that I have to tell than the gameplay. But, um, so this story, the, or the first story that I did was about me getting handcuffed. And it was kind of like a joking around type thing. Just messing around with some people at, like, a Coast Guard station that I happen to live at. And so this next story is kind of similar but this is more of a serious situation, but kind of less serious. I don't know. It's it's probably the stupidest thing you will probably ever hear that you could probably have ever gotten arrested or charged with a crime for doing. But um, so uh, let me, I'll just start off with uh the group of friends that I have. We don't do like normal things. We don't go out to parties and do crap like that. We do different things. We're not. I get, we're pretty damn weird. But um, so this one, I don't even know how to explain this. So my friends, while I was on vacation, my friends had like thought of some kind of new stupid idea, like something to do, like when we were or when they were bored at night, was that they filled up water balloons and they like chucked it at like I think like stop signs and crap and like parked cars. And so they, I came back from my vacation, and they told me about this. And so the next time I had, I had uh, my group of friends, me and my three friends, they stayed the night at my house. And we decided we wanted to do this thing we called ballooning, you know, chucking water balloons at stuff. And so this time we decided to get more intense, and decided to throw it at moving cars that were like on the street across from my house. And this may sound like the stupidest thing ever. I mean, who the hell would? throw water balloons anyways especially at the age of 17 I'm still a child don't judge me but um so we decided to do this uh thing we called ballooning and we uh so we bought a bag of I think we actually we did we could not find water balloons we bought actual balloons and we filled them up with water I don't know if that made like a difference or anything but uh so we I had my friends stay the night and we decided to do this thing ballooning and so we were, we were going all night. We like we chucked them at like stop signs and random stuff. And so we decided to throw them at like moving cars. And for the first like five times that we actually threw balloons, none of us could actually hit a car. And we missed and there was just spots all over the road from how inaccurate we were. But uh, so there was a few times where I kind of got like, I just got like a bad feeling about what we were doing. And that we probably shouldn't have been doing it. But, uh, you know, I was just kind of like, hey, what could possibly go wrong? I mean, it's a, it's a water balloon. What kind of damage could a water balloon possibly do? And so we keep throwing water balloons, and one of my friends, we're, like, waiting. We're hiding behind some bushes, waiting for cars to come. And as we're, we all, like, jump up to, like, throw a water balloon, well, I, I don't know if it was me or one of my friends that yelled stop, but one of us yelled stop, so we didn't throw the water balloon, and it was a cop that happened to drive by. And so we were like, holy crap, thank God we did not throw this water balloon. We could have been so screwed. And so that was kind of like the first like hunch that I got that we probably shouldn't have been uh, doing doing this. And that it was a stupid idea. And also, uh, I think one of my neighbors actually saw us and they, they said something to us. But I couldn't hear them because they were too far away. And I didn't know they were yelling at us. Or I thought they were just talking to somebody they were with or yelling at somebody they were with. So I didn't realize they were yelling at us. And so, as the night progresses, we keep, we th I think we hit maybe like a total of three cars. And each time we hit a car, you know, it just, the water balloon broke. It made like a thud on the car, I guess. It wasn't like a big deal. No, like, I don't even know if the cars even noticed it, because most of them just kept driving. And so, the last time we threw a water balloon, all four of us, we each have balloons, and... Two of my friends missed, and 
we st we're still not sure of who actually hit the car, but we're pretty sure it's between uh, me and my one of my friends. And I don't think it was me because I'm so inaccurate, and he actually played football, and he was a quarterback, so I I'm assuming it was him. But uh, so we throw this water balloon at a car just driving by, and it actually hits. I don't know. We didn't see exactly where it hit on the car, and we hear like like a like the sound of something like breaking or like I don't know a light shattering, and we we're like, oh holy crap! Did we just actually like break something? Like I don't know what happened. Like we just kind of I don't know. We kind of assumed at first that we that nothing happened and it was just kind of like a loud thud or whatever. And we hear the the car like screech to a halt, and we just sprint back to my house. And so we're in my garage, and we're just we have the lights off, and we're just waiting, just waiting for time to pass, hoping that like nothing happens. And so we're sitting there, and uh, two of my friends go over the hill in my backyard to go see if uh, to see if there was a car there or if anybody was there to see what happened. And a car was actually parked, and uh, I guess somebody was outside like calling. I don't know if he called the cops, or I'm assuming he called the cops. And he was just staring at his car, you know, on the phone with somebody. And so they come back to my house. And uh, me and my other friend, we decided to walk around the neighborhood. to, Because we were going to go see from a different angle to see what happened. To see if we could possibly see the car. And as we were walking out of my neighborhood and around uh, one of the other streets, we see, we see a cop driving around. And so we were like, holy crap. They called the cops. Hopefully they don't find out it's us. And so we sprint back to my house, and we just sit in my garage for a little bit, and we're like, all right, this is done. We're, this is so stupid. We're going, we're going inside. We're just going to chill out, maybe watch a movie or whatever. So we go to my basement, and we're just watching TV, and we're like, holy crap, our hearts are just racing. Like, that was the most exhilarating thing we've ever done. You know, that's kind of stupid. But uh, we're chilling in my basement, and probably three, four, five minutes later, there's a, there's a knock on my door. And I hear my parents come downstairs. And as we're sitting in my basement, all of a sudden I hear, Ryan, get upstairs. I was like, oh no, oh no. And this cop was standing at our door. And I was like, holy crap, you've got to be kidding me. And so he, so he comes in the house and they like sit us around. Uh, they have me and my friends sit, a, sit around our like kitchen table. And the cop's standing there. And he's kind of explaining to us what what happened, and then the guy called the cops, and that apparently one of my neighbors ratted on us. And so we're sitting there, and they like we had to give them our name, our I don't know, our address, our height, weight, like eye color, crap like that. And so we had to do all that. And the guy or the cop tells us that we broke one of the like the the front headlights, or I think it was called a spotter light. I'm not sure. I don't really remember because it was it was during the summer, and so this cop is sitting there, and I felt so terrible. Like I didn't know that a, I had no idea a water balloon could possibly even do that. That is ridiculous. But so we have a cop standing in my kitchen, and he's explaining to us that we could possibly go to jail because of this. That if if the guy decides to press charges, that we could possibly go to jail because we threw a water balloon. And so I'm sitting there like, holy crap, if this guy actually press, presses charges, like, I'm so screwed because, you know, I'm 17, a senior in high school, and applying to colleges and getting a job, although I already have a job, doing all that stuff just becomes so much more difficult if you're charged with a felony or a misde misdemeanor. And luckily, the guy was cool enough. We did not get charged, thank God. I, don't, I can't remember what we could have been charged with. I guess it was a uh, destruction of property was what we would have been charged with so lucky enough we did not get charged the guy was cool we just we paid like 80 it was only like 75 dollars i think total to pay for this headlight to get fixed so we paid the 75 dollars and uh we were good the guy came to my house i had to pay him myself and he came by showed it. he had like a crappy old like honda crv and this thing was i'm pretty sure it was teal it was like the most ghetto crv you've ever seen and I'm pretty sure the light must have already been cracked because there's no way a water balloon can actually break a headlight. Because water balloons are thrown at children. Like, those are meant to like be thrown at people. How can that 
How can something that like dangerous be or that harmless actually do something like that to a car? But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I I, I might end up redoing this just to try and do it better. But uh, yeah. So that's the story of uh me almost going to jail and getting charged with a felony for throwing a water balloon. Maybe one of the craziest and stupidest stories ever. But for sure taught me not to mess around with water balloons. Not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm my water balloon throwing career is over. And we kind of we kind of mess up or mess around with it now and kind of laugh about it. But uh hopefully you guys enjoyed my weird and crazy story and I will see you guys later.